Hey everyone, I'm Yasmina Earth Angel, your soul mentor and biz strategist, and I'm back with another video today. I was feeling inspired when I went to my bodywork session earlier today, and I have finished preparation for a session I have with a client shortly. Um, I finished early, so I thought, you know what, I'll just drop in live right now on Facebook and share a soul drop. So, as you can probably see from the title, if it's showing up as you're watching this, the soul drop for today is contraction equals connection. So what I mean by this is if you are feeling like something is triggering you or you're feeling like you can't be in your full expansiveness, that feeling, that contraction is your soul nudging you to an area of your life where you might want to get a little bit curious you may want to explore some things and then on the other side of that, that exploration or curiosity you may find that you won't feel the need to contract or play small or not be in your fullness anymore because you will have worked through it or it doesn't matter to you in the same way anymore for example I was doing some journaling yesterday and it came to my attention that I was stressing about trying to fit what I was writing within the lines. Like I didn't want to put one extra word at the end of the sentence down to the next line, or I didn't want to let my sentences travel to the next page. And then it got me thinking, I was like, well, why am I playing small in my own journal? No one else is reading this journal. So what the heck am I doing? And what it came down to, it was, I guess a worthiness thing for me like I didn't feel worthy or I didn't want to waste the paper like I couldn't be in my full expression because I might take up too much space in my journal now it's such a small habit but when we shine the light on it and become aware of it it causes shifts and you know if I can't even show up in my own journal and allow myself to write and, and flow through and express how I feel, however much space it needs in the journal. How can I show up in my fullness in everyday life? I felt contracted, I felt small. So contraction equals connection. It connects you to those parts of yourselves that you may, or well, those parts of ourselves, that we may wish to shine a light on to it or to get curious and to go, hang on a minute, why am I doing that? Is that in line with my values? Is that in with my integrity? Is that who I really am? Like I can't even allow myself to fully write in my journal? Who the heck is reading this? I have other journals ready for when this journal runs out. It's not like I have run around out of paper. You know, for me, I can understand like, you want to finish a thought and you're like, okay, I've only have a couple more words. I'll just put it on the line underneath and finish it on that page. Sure, but Every sentence, every line, every paragraph, I did not want it to go over. I did not want to push to the next page. I sat with it, <clears throat> fell into the contraction, kept working with it, and just pushed myself to allow me to continue. And I ended up taking up five and a half pages because I had been writing some journal prompts uh, above, and then I, I was doing some other journaling. So, you know, I'm going to read from my journal entry for you just to show you what my process was, was like. So I've written, trigger, trying to fit my writing to the page or the line. Why? Am I not even worthy of taking up the space I need on paper? It's these tiny, insidious, seemingly insignificant habits that tell us all about our deep inner state and what we really should consider exploring, becoming curious about. Like, what does it even mean? Truly, if we can't fit our word, quote, sentence to the page or the line in our journal, like, what does that mean? What does that mean? Like, why am I attaching value to that? Why should I even be concerned about it? What about not wanting to make a mistake and scribble it out, cross it through in our journal? Can we not even be authentic with ourselves when we are the only audience? Like, who's reading my journal? I'm not, like, sending it around to people to read. Where... Whose values are we trying to uphold? Is there some test we're taking? Or what are we preparing for? Are our pens and paper judging us? Do we need to feel worthy enough to simply write something in our own personal and private book? 
If we are squashing and squishing ourselves on paper, in our own private spaces, can we even comprehend the fullness that is waiting for us outside the paper? Are we even capable of showing up fully in the world if we are constricting ourselves in our journals, in our private spaces? Do we even truly know what that means to show up fully if we can't even express ourselves fully in our journal? Um, can we even truly know what that means? Like, why are we conditioning ourselves to conform to programming even when we are alone? How deep does the program go? Could we even function if we freed ourselves from the program completely? Yeah, brings up more questions than answers, but helps you work through. This is my process. These are my exact what I'm reading straight from my journal. It's right here. Do we even know who and what we are without the conditioning? Is the conditioning the true catalyst for the state of our planet? Have we tethered ourselves by chains so small that even if we broke them, we would still behave the same way? And I was thinking about, have you seen the movie Dumbo? or any elephant in a circus. They get chained by these small skinny chains when they're little, so that psychologically when they're adults and they can break the chain physically, there's nothing to stop them. Psychologically, they won't break it because they think they're still, this chain is still strong enough to hold them. Are we doing the same thing to ourselves? It's really quite sad, really, if we are. What is it about being tethered to something or someone that excites us enough to abandon, neglect, or ignore our soul's calling so why do we like being tethered to things to take us away from what we're here to be do and have how do we transcend intellectual knowledge into the knowingness to feeling enough to feeling worthy to feeling value hope this resonates if you would like to go deeper on any aspects i now have three Space is available for one-to-one -one soul mentoring with me on custom programs. So I tailor the program to what your needs are. Um, yeah, that's the end of today's video. Contraction equals connection. And I am Yasmina Earth Angel, your soul mentor and biz strategist. Remember, say yes to your soul without hesitation. Every time. Until the next video. Mwah.